the man at the right hand of God who loved me and died for me now he ever lives for me that's Jesus he was God's answer to humanity He was God manifest to our senses. He talked like God. He acted like God. He lived like God. And on the cross, he died like God. He was not a philosopher searching for the truth. He was the truth. He was not a philosopher searching for the truth. He was the truth. He was not mystic. He was reality. He was not an experimenter searching for reality. He was not a reformer. He was the creator. He was not a visionary. He was the light of the world. He never reflected. He never reasoned. He knew. He never learned. He never asked prayers for himself. He never sought help of man. He was never in a hurry. He was never afraid. He never showed weakness. He never hesitated. He was always ready. He was sure. There was a sureness in all he did or said. He had no sense of sin, no need of forgiveness. He never sought advice, nor needed advice. He knew why he came. He knew where he came from. He knew who he was. He knew the Father. He knew about heaven. He knew where he was going. He knew man. He knew Satan. He had no sense of luck. He had no sense of limitation. 
from the arrest to the cross he had no sense of fear he had no anger no sense of disappointment no sense of being defeated no sense of being forsaken he had no sense of need of human sympathy nothing he did not shrink from pain or brutal treatment he was master when they arrested him he was master at the trial he ruled this the sin he ruled the unseen while he was on the cross He was almighty, yet a man. He died as God. After resurrection, he had no sense of revenge when he rose up. No sense of revenge. He was love. He said, Go tell Peter, the weakest one. Go and tell Peter, the one who denied me, the weakest one. Tell him I'm alive. He died as a lamb. He arose as Lord. He acted like God. He spoke like God. His resurrection had all the simplicity of God. He was God. He is God.